Hi guys, Becky here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, go over to Bushwhacker Man's channel and check out part one of this camp out. Um, he's done a video. So we've already been here. We got here yesterday, so we've done a night already. So we've got a pretty snazzy set up here. We've got the two Lavu tents um, opposite each other and then the fire pit in the middle. So we parked over that way, lugged all our gear to this spot so we chose a spot to camp and then uh, yeah so we brought quite, quite a few things, quite a lot of food cast iron pots, things like that. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty chilled camp, camp out. Um, nothing challenging, so we've got all our gear with us. Um, so it's, it's quite nice, really. So thank you guys for leaving all your suggestions in the previous video. Um, so the solo video I asked uh, for you lot to leave um, some questions because I'm going to do a Q&A soon. So I'll do that in my next video. Um, so once I've got all the questions and saved them, printed them off, I will answer them. So thank you for leaving them for me and any suggestions for future videos, that's great. So the wood that we're staying in is quite a local woods, it's not too far away. Um, and we decided that we wanted to kind of do some car camping so we didn't have to walk too far to get all our gear to this woodland here. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty nice, easy camp out. So tonight I'm cooking the cast iron Dutch oven, which is a new thing for me. I haven't cooked in that before, so I'll be cooking dinner in that over the fire with all the coals. So that'll be something new. It's quite a skill to learn how to cook in one of them, so I guess it just takes time and practice till you get good at it. In my solo video, you saw that I had a lavu and a wood burner. So they're, they're actually my dad's, I borrowed them. He was very kind and let me borrow his pieces of kit just to test them out, see if I like them. Um, and I went and bought myself my own lavu. I really, really rate the tent. Before I wasn't too sure on it because of the weight, it's quite heavy but it's perfect for winter camping. It's um, it's great, I love it. So I went and got got my own, my own one. I got a size small, so you can get them from Military Mart. That's where I got mine. Any sort of military shop, I think, sells them. Um, so you just gotta type in Polish canvas lavu and it'll come up if you're interested. Yeah, they're, they're pretty great. They're obviously a thick canvas canvas material, so uh, they keep in the heat. And um, I have a DD, like synthetic, quite thin material tent, so you can really tell the difference. But they each have their own, their own jobs. Obviously the lightweight one's good for hiking in the summer and the lavu's good for like winter camping and things like that and when you've got a wood burner. So 
so I just want to say a huge thank you to all my Patreons. Um, you guys are amazing. You've helped support this trip, this camp out, and you've you've gave me the money to buy that Lavu for uh, for future camp outs and using my videos. So yeah, you guys are so supportive, and I'm really thankful for the uh, contributions you give me each month so thank you if you're not sure what patreon is i'll put a link um in this video i'll put it in the description and i'll put it up at the top of the screen so you can uh go over and see what it is um i've started to upload uh some videos on there some exclusive videos and uh, I'll be doing a vid once once a week. I'll put a video on there uh, for Patreons only. So I've used this throughout the weekend for processing firewood. So this is the Silky Saw XL. Um, so I just want to thank one of my subscribers, um, Nick, for sending this to me. And uh, I love it. It's great. It's great for um, getting firewood and things like that. So I'll be taking that in my bag a lot as it's lovely and small and collapsible so I'm just going to start preparing our dinner for tonight we've got roast chicken in the cast iron pot so uh, I've just put the ghee in first a bit of oil and I'm going to add my sliced onion and garlic in there So I've just uh, got the Dutch oven on the fire now, I've cleared the fire to one side and uh, just put embers on the top of the Dutch oven to keep the heat going. So on the chicken I've put a few like herbs and spices on and some pepper and salt just to give it some more flavouring um, as well as the, the onion and garlic at the bottom. So. I'm just going to wait and every 20 minutes or so I'm going to turn the the pot round so it cooks all round the chicken not just on one side. Cheers, Bex. Cheers, guys.
It's getting dark now. It's just uh, started to rain and it's on and off. So I've put my waterproof jacket on and we uh, built the fire up just in case the uh, the embers go out that we need for the, the for the Dutch oven. So that's still going strong. Just a slow process cooking the chicken. Um, obviously it's like an oven effect. So yeah. Buster's gone inside my lavu now. A bit worn out. Bless him. So I'm just going to make a little peg for my lavu as the set didn't come with all of them. So I'll just make a little peg now. The chicken's probably been in the Dutch oven for about two and a half hours, something like that. Um, so it should be done shortly. And then I've got to add the potatoes to go with that and that will be really nice. Looking forward to it. Nice. Oh, look at that. Yes, please. Rest is best. <laughs> we have a nice couple of chunks and then we'll uh, come back to it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's so good. That tastes so nice. It's different in a Dutch oven. Mm. Ten out of ten. So that dinner was lovely. We got uh, apple pie, apple crumble for pudding. We we're treating ourselves well this weekend. A lot of food. So just chilling out now, we've eaten all our food, pretty stuffed, not gonna lie, um, yeah, we ate quite a bit, um, it was really nice, we don't normally come out and cook up loads and especially use that Dutch oven, so it was a new experience, different way of camping, um, with all the, all the gear and the food and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just listening to the owls now. 
hooting away. So I've recently got this journal and I've just been writing in it on uh, campouts. So it'll be like my little camping journal. I'm going to track how many campouts I've done this year and then just write little little bits about them. So I'm in the lavoo now. I'm going to get ready for bed and then I'm going to go off to sleep. So I'll see you tomorrow guys. Morning Bex, morning guys. Lovely in there. Well done Becky, nice brew on. Just for you. Cheers Bex. Morning guys. I had a little friend join me last night. So, had a really nice night in the Lavu. It was the first time testing out my Lavu that I've just recently bought. Uh, so it's extremely warm. As it's windy around here, it blocked out a lot of the wind, which was nice. And there's a lot of room in there as well, so it fit me, the dog, and all my stuff. And that's a size small. So if you're interested, go over to uh, Military Mart. That's where I got mine from. And I'll just show you the little lavu set that came with it. So a collapsible pole came with this in these nice little canvas pouches. Um, and then I got 
all these pegs to uh, go with it as well that fit in the pouches. Um, the only thing that I would change is like my dad's done, he's put bits of paracord in these these loops and these holes. Um, it's just easier for pegging it in. So if you're thinking about buying the full-on kit or just the Lavu, I'd recommend uh, just buying the Lavu as the collapsible pole wasn't the strongest of poles. It felt like it was going to bend and it doesn't, um, it just wasn't very sturdy. So if it was windier or heavy rain, I don't think it'd be the strongest. I felt like I couldn't really move it in case it broke up. And uh, the pegs, they're not the uh, strongest either. I think if it was harder ground, they would have just bent. As there were stones in this ground, I couldn't really get my peg in. Um, yeah, it's just if it was solid ground, I don't think these would do very well. I think they'd bend. So might as well save the money and put it towards better a, maybe a DD pole because they're really good or some better pegs to go with it or you could even make your own pegs um, like I said the loops are quite small so you probably have to put paracord around it to make it better for pegging or just make tiny little pegs like that so there's the poles and some of the pegs in one bag so that goes in that little pouch there so you get two little pouches so it's pretty portable so I've just cleared up the area and tried to leave no trace so I filled in the fire pit and uh, covered up where we were staying picked up all the rubbish all that jazz so uh, we packed up walking all our gear back um, so that's this camp out over. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, it's been a really nice camp out. I've really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, take care and thank you for watching. I'm just leaving now. It's been a good weekend. I'm probably going to plan to come out next weekend like I uh, usually do. So yeah i have to plan another trip sooner or later so i've got my dad's backpack on now i'm just gonna meet him at the car we're gonna he's been loading it in and i've been bringing him the stuff um and that's us finish so thank you and um Thanks for watching.